113. The idea that people are standing, ships are sailing, and planes are flying upside down on certain parts of Earth, while others tilted at 90 degrees and all other impossible angles, is complete absurdity. The idea that a man digging a hole straight down could eventually reach sky on the other side is ludicrous. Common sense tells every free-thinking person correctly that there truly is an up and down in nature, unlike the everything-is-relative rhetoric of the Newtonian-Einsteinian paradigm. 114. Quoting On the False Wisdom of the Philosophers by Lacantius, A sphere where people on the other side live with their feet above their heads, where rain, snow, and hail fall upwards, where trees and crops grow upside down and the sky is lower than the ground, the ancient wonder of the hanging gardens of Babylon dwindle into nothing in comparison to the fields, seas, towns, and mountains that pagan philosophers believe to be hanging from the earth without support. 115. The existing laws of density and buoyancy perfectly explain the physics of falling objects long before knighted Freemason Sir Isaac Newton bestowed his theory of gravity upon the world. It is a fact that objects placed in denser mediums rise up, while objects placed in less dense mediums sink down. To fit with the heliocentric model, which has no up or down, Newton instead claimed objects are attracted to large masses and fall towards the center. Not a single experiment in history, however, has shown an object massive enough to, by virtue of its mass alone, cause other smaller masses to be attracted to it, as Newton claims gravity does with the Earth, the Sun, Moon, stars, and planets. 116. There has also never been a single experiment in history showing an object massive enough to, by virtue of its mass alone, cause another smaller mass to orbit around it. The magic theory of gravity allows for oceans, buildings, and people to remain forever stuck to the underside of a spinning ball, while simultaneously causing objects like the moon and satellites to remain locked in perpetual circular orbits around the Earth. If these were both true, then people should be able to jump up and start orbiting circles around the Earth, or the moon should have long ago been sucked into the Earth. Neither of these theories have ever been experimentally verified, and their alleged results are mutually exclusive. 117. Newton also theorized, and it is now commonly taught, that the Earth's ocean tides are caused by gravitational lunar attraction. If the moon is only 2,160 miles in diameter, and the Earth 8,000 miles, however, using their own math and law, it follows that the Earth is 87 times more massive and therefore the larger object should attract the smaller to it, and not the other way around. If the Earth's greater gravity is what keeps the moon in orbit, it is impossible for the moon's lesser gravity to supersede the Earth's gravity, especially at Earth's sea level, where its gravitational attraction would even further out-trump the moon's. And if the moon's gravity truly did supersede the Earth's, causing the tides to be drawn towards it, there should be nothing to stop them from continuing onwards and upwards towards their great attractor.